Hey guys, this is Michael from Blue Tech TV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root, uh, how to flash a custom ROM to your Samsung Galaxy Reverb. So before doing this, you're going to have to install the Clockwork Recovery mod. I'm probably going to make a video about that, or you can just find one online. I'm sure there are plenty. So once you've installed the Clockwork Recovery mod, simply go to just search on Google Reverb All Things Root. And then click on that and it will take you to a great forum that I always use. It's pretty much a giant forum with millions of views for everybody with a Galaxy Reverb by Samsung. So what I did, I'm, ju I'm just going to use the Atrium, uh, Atrium Jelly Bean mod or ROM. And once you get that, just download it. Then once you have the download, as you can see right here, you're going to have to go into Computer and you're going to have to insert something called a micro SD. So once you have your micro SD card, which you can get on Amazon for pretty cheap, put it, hopefully you should, you have to buy one with an adapter. An adapter is pretty much a, a normal SD card with a little slot for the little one, and you insert it, and then that way you can plug it into the computer. Um, when we switch to the phone side, I'll show you what a mic micro SD card looks like and what the adapter looks like. So, for now, just plug it into your computer. So, as you can see, I've added it here, and this is my 13 gig, 16 gigabyte thing. So, all you have to do is just double click on the removal disk. As you can see, I already have a ROM here, but it was not a good ROM. So, once you do that, just drag this into here, and it'll start copying it. So, this might take a while, so I'm going to pause it right here and skip. So once the ROM has been successfully transferred, just eject the disk. So I'm just going to eject my SD card here. And then I'm just going to pull it out. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. This is a micro SD adapter. Literally, it's just a normal SD card. Um, by itself, it's useless, but... Once you insert the micro SD into it, it becomes useful. So this is the micro SD itself. As you can see, it is a very tiny little chip, and it's quite little. So once you have that out, just put your adapter aside. You don't need that for now. And on your phone, just pop this open right here, your little micro SD slot on the Galaxy Reverb. And I'm just going to insert this. So once you've inserted it, all you have to do is, um, as you can see, I already have it booted up here. So I'm just going to power it off. So once the phone has finally turned off, turn it on and hold both the volume button and the power button at the exact same time like this. Just keep on pressing them until the phone says boot to recovery mode at the top. So I'm just going to hold this a little longer and it should finally boot into the clockwork recovery mod that you installed previously. So once it boots into the clockwork re recovery mod, you can see quite a few options here. And the one we're interested in is install zip from SD card, which is the second option. Use the power button to press it. And as you can see, there are quite a few options here. Like, um, we can apply, we can do, um, apply, choose zip from SD card, which is the option you're looking for. So press choose zip from SD card. So as you can see, you're going to see a whole bunch of files here on the Galaxy Reverb because the Galaxy Reverb um, has a thing where the its main storage is in the device as an SD card. So obviously you're going to get all of this. So you don't want that. So go back and scroll and go down and go to the second to last object, which is choose zip from ex external SD card. So once you choose the zip from an external SD card, just click do the power button 
And as you can see, there's just pretty much a small list of all the files on the SD card. So I'm going to go down to Atrium JB 1.1. You can see it's right here. Just press the power button on it. There's going to be a whole bunch of nodes. Just go down to install Atrium JB, power button. And then down here, it's going to say installing, installing update package and formatting your system. Um, I remember last time I installed a, um, a ROM, my phone actually managed to keep all its files even though it was formatted. But to me it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to, as you can see it's just going to extract the system, and you just have to... So once your phone has finished going through the process, it should say install from SD card complete. So now just go back and go to the first option on the main menu, which is the reboot system now. As you can see right here, I'm sorry, it's just taking a, a little long to focus. So just choose the first option, which is Reboot System Now. Press it, your phone will enter this stage. And then from what you have to do pretty much is just wait for it to boot. And it will show that little caution mark that is not a problem. That just indicates that you are using a custom boot and pretty much they're not responsible if there's a problem. That, that happens all the time. Just wait for it through the boot process. And after it's done, the first boot, they always say, the first boot, one thing you should not get worried about is that the first boot always takes a while because it is installing it, updating all the files and all that, so don't get upset if it's, sometimes you gotta wait up to 20 minutes for the boot. I remember with my first mod, which was the, um, which was, um, the Superstock ICS, it took it almost 20 minutes to boot on the first time. After it boots, if it takes a too long of a time to boot, I'm, I'm probably going to make a video on how to fix that. All you have to do is go into the back into clockwork recovery mod and wipe some caches and it'll work. I'm sure you can find a tutorial online. So then as you can see here it's finished. I have it's installed the mod. It wants me to to know if I'll use Apex launcher or just the launcher so I'm just gonna select launcher. And um this mod was pretty much it's like the um super stock jelly bean I guess just a little bit different than the actual jelly bean. So that's pretty much how you flash mods, um, fl mods and ROMs, and you can flash pretty much all types of files with this. Just go into your SD card, um, select the file with the power button, and it will flash it. I've flashed the camera, the Superstock camera app, and all kinds of things through this. This is, this is the main method of flashing, and it also works the best for flashing. There are a few other methods of flashing, like, um, for instance, the installing it from the side load. Um, that works, but it has a high chance of failure, and it constantly crashes, and it's just not the best method. So getting one of these micro SD cards, which you can get for a little less than $10 on Amazon, probably even cheaper at your local store. So thanks for watching, guys, and please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe.